Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Amma does this. It is release week for Pokemon's newest set, Scarlet and Violet. And in today's video, I'm going to be opening one of each of the Pokemon Center exclusive Rhydon and Maridon Elite Trainer boxes. So without further scooby ado, let's get it. Alright guys, so here we have it. Here is the Coridon Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box. Right off the bat guys, I love the colour scheme. The red and the gold. Reminds me of Iron Man. Here's the front. Top of Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. Scarlet and Violet. Side. The other side. And here's the back. Begin a new adventure with Pokemon EX. There are the contents. I'll leave that on the screen for a second. And here is the Miraidon Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box. There's the front. Begin a new adventure with Pokemon EX again. There's the contents. This one as well. This Elite Trainer Box. I love the color scheme. If only they made it purple and silver. Remind me of um, East Kohan from Dragon Ball. You know that character. But there you go. Alright, let me crack these open and I'll show you the contents. Here is the artwork on the inside of the sleeve. I think they are just the artworks of the packs. So there's Coridon. Coridon. Three starters. And Terraform. Terrados. There you go. Here is the inside of the Elite Trainer box. Here are your dice and damage counters. The dice has EX on one of the sides. There we go. So it's the red and the gold color scheme. And then these are like a teal kind of gray color. And here are the sleeves. Really nice color. Really, really nice color. Red and gold. I believe they're gonna be frosted as well. That frosted look which spoils it. I think they should change it back to clear. Yeah, it's frosted. And that's the sleeves. Let me show you about packaging. I can hold it properly. There you go. Here are the new condition markers, the burn and the poison condition markers. I actually like the new look of these condition markers. Surprise! I'm not because normally in um, they kind of changed up a little bit with the Elite Trainer Box. Maybe it'll come with the Elite Trainer Box Plus, but they used to do the metal types. So it would be interesting to see when they do the metal ones if they do it for these. Uh, here are your two promo cards. One has the Pokemon Center stamp, which, which is the left one, and here's the regular one. So from now. Um, Going, out, going forward with Scarlet and Violet Elite Trainer Boxes, you're going to get a promo card. Regular retail ones, you just get a regular retail and um, promo card. And the Pokemon Center ones, you get a Pokemon Center stamp. So here is a little closer look at the Pokemon Center stamp. Promo card. And you also get 11 packs now instead of 10. So they give you one extra pack. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There you go. I almost forgot about the tech dividers. So here are the tech dividers. Here's one of the sides of it. The red and the gold. And then the gold and the red with a close-up of the Rhydon. Here is the inside look of the Rhydon leech in a box. Here's the front. Top. The other side, which looks more or less exactly the same. Here's the condition markers and the dice and damage counters, with the exception of the violet one being violet and gold. There you go. Here are the maride on sleeves, up and the gold. Same back finish, probably frosted as well. Here are the maride on deck dividers. There's the front and there's the back. Here is your code card for the Maridon Elite Trainer Box. And here is your Maridon promo card with the Pokemon Center stamp. 
let me know in the comments down below guys which promo card you prefer i'm more of a Coridon. i prefer Coridon over Maridon. but in terms of artwork i think i'm gonna give Maridon this one What should be 11 packs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 perfect Alright guys so that's the contents of the box The players got a left for the end so we can take a look at it This is my first time seeing in it S Seeing it There we go So here's the I guess how to play the cards or the evolution lines The terraform EXs and then the trainer cards Oh, the special illustration rares on the EX is there. Um, Start up Pokemon final forms, final evolution forms. The new Paldean. Is it Paldean? Paldean forms of Pokemon. These. And then the new Pokemon themselves. Two more. Right, so here we go. Here's the actual set itself. With the new set. So you got. Rare, double rare, ultra rare, illustration rare, special illustration rare, and hyper rares. So not much in terms of like with the main set. There's only EXs, like that's the only thing going for it. There's no more Vs, Vmaxes, V stars. So the main set itself is kind of like lackluster. There's not much to it. And then they added like full arts and illustration rares to the end as secret rares. So. Main set wise now it's gonna be I think a bit easier to, to collect but at the same time a little bit lackluster with just EX being the, the bigger uh, ultra rares no the double rares the double rares so there you go get into the back here should be here we go here's the illustration rares so from 199 and above the secret rares Oh, this is my first time seeing some of the artworks as well. There we go. That's, I've never seen anyone pull that. I've watched a few openings, but I haven't seen a single person pull that Pachirisu. That Pachirisu artwork's quite nice. The Drowsy is nice. And then you got the... Oh, is it not? Oh, they didn't do it in order. Because it's a special illustration rare, but... Here's like a this little story art with Rhodes, Curly and it's, it should be Gardevoir yet but because Gardevoir is a special illustration rare it's not gonna go in line damn it my OCD and my binder purpose is that's not gonna sit well with me but it is what it is oh that real is nice that real is nice and that King Gambit here we go here's full arts so Spider, Arcanine and Gyarados I have pulled the Gyarados EX in my booster bundle opening guys, link in the description down below. There's all the full arts. And then full arts and special illustration rares and then the gold cards. So special illustration and hyper rare. Everyone's main chase card of course being Miriam. Second main chase I'm guessing is Maridon. And then the third will be God of Our. And it's all the promos. So these are the stamp promos from the Build and Battle Kit. These are from the single checkling blisters, the triple blisters, and these are from the elite trainer boxes. And that's the player's guide, guys. Alright, so let's get into the packs. Let's start from me right on. As always, I'm gonna leave my favorite of the two for the end. Oh these these packs feel so good. And they seem a lot tougher. You can't like strip them straight down, you have to grab them from the top in the middle now. Oh, black pole cards. In um let's do oh crap I just ruined it okay so nothing in the rare slot or in the ultra rare slot double rare slot lightning energy um what was I saying what was I saying what was I saying what was I gonna say before I missed up damn it I missed up for security nothing in this pack but look a bit cycle though I completely lost chain of thought what was I saying I think I was talking about the pack open here in the middle. Yeah, anyway, that's the black cold cards in my booster bundle opening link in the description down below guys um they were white cold cards from what i can remember all of them were white cold cards darkness formal cold school 
hold them, can't see. Look at that. Yeah, the lighting's a little bit better this time around. Brow lift reverse. Brow lift. Thank you on EX. Uh, yes, I pulled this one. So we got an EX on this side. There you go. Not gonna lie, guys. Not gonna lie. I'm not being too hopeful with these Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes. Usually, usually, from all the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes that I open, I get something good. But this time around, I have a feeling these aren't gonna be that great to open. Just judging from a few videos that I watched, booster boxes give the best hits, but everything else is kind of random and not as good. Best as research. Yeah, with booster boxes, it's like seeded and set rates of what you're going to pull. And looking at it, you're going to get two special illustration rares or at least one hyper rare per box. If you don't get, um, fire energy. If you don't get two illustration rares, special illustration rares, you're going to get a hyper rare and a special illustration rare. And we guaranteed a few more. Heritage. But with other products, it looks random. I mean, I've seen Elite Trainer boxes opened. And I've seen pretty much no hits. And then I've seen um, other products being opened and they're not that great as well. My Booster Bundle one wasn't too bad, to be honest. It wasn't that bad, but... I think Booster Boxes are the way to go with these if you are going to go for anything. Unless you're just going to kind of pick up something random, cheaper. Gonna the book. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. So, so far, Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes haven't done me dirty. I'm gonna speak too soon now. We got Guard of our EX Full Art. Uh, Ultra Rare. Ultra Rare. I just had like a quick look at that part of our EX. I just realized that the texture on plots the ultra rares now are more subtle than they were previously like when you do that cross it it's not as you don't feel it as much it feels more like smooth whereas before you could actually feel the texture so i did, guess they did a little bit of change there it seems like they made it more expensive to get stuff a, a little more molar a little more molar picnic basket right on yeah, they made it more expensive, like, but I think, depending on where you are, $5 or £5 more, but these are 55 and they're usually 50 Yeah, so they made it a little bit more expensive, but it seems like they made the quality... Oh, almost did the Patrick there, almost did the Patrick. Okay, I didn't. Um, still energy, yeah. So they made it a little bit more expensive. They added a little bit more, kind of. But the quality is not there. You, when you're going to make something more expensive you should at least kind of you know make it a bit better four packs left from right on side i mean an ex and then a full art ex not bad not bad i'm still trying to figure out as well how i should do this the way i'm doing it now i feel like it's the best way one from the back the energies so if i do come across you know that energy the fighting energy i can still do my high five the high five energy that's a closer hopsaw and I forever room. I still have not yet pulled. I think I've pulled everything now. Everything apart from a special illustration rare. With this video, pull special illustration rare for me to see. Probably not. Toxel, Gorgies, Muck, The Villain, Reverse Chocolate Dip, Youngster, Sobro. I think Crown Zenith took all my luck guys, I think Crown Zenith, my luck, Crown Zenith took it all. Oh my days, this is tough. Yeah, my luck for Crown Zenith. Insane. And it's taking it up for Scarlet and Violet. Although Scarlet and Violet pull rates, again, uh, high five. Um, in terms of booster boxes, again, I'm just going to say this, keep saying it probably. Booster boxes, booster boxes look amazing in terms of pull rates. Everything else, not so much. But, nope, and nope. Last pack from Maridon. A full art EX I'll take. But yeah, Hansi and if, um, I think. 
think a week from now maybe two weeks from now Transina's next product should be releasing which is going to be the more triple the union box and the pin set the triple triple back blister pin set oh this is the first time i've seen this card my boss the reverse hollow but that is a nice card from my boss the how menacing he looks oh yeah Let's go. yes finally a cool one this seems to be the main one everyone pulls everyone's pulling this card left right and center iron Treads ex special illustration rare nice that's a good one finally so i've pulled at least one of each rarity Alright guys, so that's one Elite Trainer Box done and we're probably about halfway through the video. If you're currently enjoying it and you stuck with me this far, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more when we reach 500 subscribers. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for one of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Elite Trainer Boxes. But without further scooby ado. Alright guys, so moving on to Corrido, my preferred legendary and my preferred game. Um, if I was going to... I've, I've played the game, but... I wanted to do a like a sort of commentary reaction video but something went wrong with the recording so I scrapped it and ended up playing um, Violet instead so on my own kind of like time and stuff like that I just played Violet um, I completed the Pokedex 400 out of 400 I enjoyed it like apart from the bugs and stuff like that the, the the um, optimization um, thingy it was a good game but I'm still thinking I might even do again although it might it won't be as um it won't be as authentic in terms of reaction wise and I know kind of already what the game what the game is about already and the story and whatnot but still might be a fun video to do for my second channel the gaming channel might be a fun video to do thinking about it still but yes i would have preferred to have played scarlet first but violet was still good because i prefer the primal um legendaries of the primal pokemon and then the future variants like i'll probably throw up a couple of images of some primal pokemon and then some future pokemon there are some of the futures that i like and then there are some of the primals that i don't like like there's one i think it's called what is it iron horns or iron thorns from the future one that i like that one is that one is amazing but in terms of like, let's just say iron treads there i prefer great dust out of the two forms of those two i prefer great dust then we do iron treads would have been nicer if i actually pulled great dust then i did iron treads but I interest seems to be the one that everyone seems to pull the most. Right now, it looks like Rydon's doing me 30. Yep, yep. Yahoo! I've pulled three of these now. One in, one from the booster bundles, and then one from Rydon, one from Rydon. Halfway through this box now, guys. Halfway through this box, and Rydon not looking too good. We pulled a double already. That oinkel on it. That that's probably going to be my most pulled bloody ex. I've only pulled, I think, two X, two EX out of all of my openings so far. After this, I probably would have done what, 50, I think, fifty-eight packs, thirty-six, twenty-two, yeah, fifty-eight packs, and I've only pulled two X, EXs. Yahoo! And then a double up of an illustration rare, our first illustration rare, and it has to be a double. And I leave. Yep, so, oh man, all doubles, apart from Iron Thread, which I take, and God of War. Yeah, I mean, actually, in terms of those ones, I'm glad I didn't pull any doubles for those. Yeah, I mean, Iron Thread is the first one I've pulled anyway, so I'm going to pull a double there. But if I am going to pull another one, hopefully it's not going to be Iron Threads again. Pulling your back turn, Mr. Bozo, Mr. Cross, Fisher, Mr. Bozo. Nice, a full up trainer now. Professor's research, Professor Toro would have preferred Sada, but we got Toro.
Okay, okay, not bad. Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box haven't really let me down. They haven't let me down just yet. Hopefully I'm not speaking too soon. We pulled two full arts. A special illustration rare. Nice. I'll take that. Ropes. Bug trio. Charge. Also. Wow, these are so smooth and slippery. Survivor. Professor's research. Alright, three packs left. Three packs left. The next video will probably be the building battle stadiums. I'm looking forward to those at the same time. I'm not judging from what I got from the booster bundles. I feel like those aren't going to be as great as they were now because random packs or random products <laughs> ain't looking too good. Hello, Mamola, the Dene, I believe. Two packs left. Looks like my ride one's actually going to take the win on this one. Alright, one's actually gonna take the win. In terms of promo wise, yep, alright, on wins. Hit wise, are looking like my one's gonna win as well. Leaf Energy, Growlithe, Shop It, Thunder Mouse, Molly, Miriam, Lucario, Rock Chest Plate, Reverse Tropius, Reverse Scatterbug, Oh my Alright, guys, last pack, last pack. Nah, it's not gonna be last pack magic, definitely not last pack magic. Here we go. Alright, so, still, Fido, Skitterbug, Drifloon, Brigatito, Pachirisu, Pikmin Musket, Bombardier, Reverse, Re Revert, Reverse, Professor's Research, Score Villain, Don Don Zero. So our both boxes, we got three hits out of each box. From right on side, we got the full up Professor's Research, Professor Toro, we got Illustration Rare Wiglet, and Optin Clone EX. From right on, Finally, we pulled a special illustration rare, an ultra rare, full art, God of our EX, and the Oinkalon EX. Not bad. Not bad, to be honest, from a Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. At least you're getting a full art, or in this case, two full arts, a special, a special illustration rare as well. So, not too bad. Not too bad. But, yeah, guys, that was the Pokemon Center exclusive. Ride on and ride on elite trainer boxes. If you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, turn notifications on for more. And when we reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet elite trainer box. Peace.